Today on the Luke Loses Podcast, Why Keep Going, I talk about my why. Why do I continue, even though I've failed so many times? And I talk a lot about self-hatred and how to combat it. I hope you enjoy it. What's up, losers? I am Luke, and this is Luke Loses. We're losing the weight, we're losing the unhealthy lifestyle, and we're losing that negative image we have for ourselves. Please remember that I have no fitness or nutrition education. Everything I talk about is from asking questions, searching the internet, and my own personal experiences. Check out my website. It is www.lukeloosespodcast.com. That's got my social media links as well as other platforms you can listen to this podcast. You can also call the loser line. That number is 323-920-LUKE or 5853. Leave me tips, topic ideas, concerns, whatever's on your mind, and I will try to address it on a future episode. And let's just jump right into today's episode. What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to the Luke Loses Podcast. If you are new, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. I appreciate every one of you so very much. If you missed last week's episode, it was called Between the Before and After with Jonathan McLernan. And Jonathan and I had such an amazing conversation. We talked about so much stuff and I'm really excited to actually have him come back very soon because we could keep going and going and going. So if you missed that one, check that out. Today's episode, why keep going? And I want to touch on why. Why do I keep doing this? Why do I continue? Why do I keep trying? Even though I have failed, I have lost all this weight and gained it all back. Just why, right? So on that, I have lost over 400 pounds in the past. I think it's been about eight years now. And I can never keep it off. I gained the weight back plus some, right? My story, I've lost 400 pounds, but in September of 2020, I was bigger than I've ever been. And I still try. I still continue. I still try to lose the weight. And I wanted to touch a little bit on my feelings and what's going through my mind. Right. And this has nothing to do with other people who are overweight because I, I don't care about how anybody is, how, how, what size anybody is. It's not my place to care. Right. I want people to be healthy, but that's it. But for me being the size that I am, I hate it. I really hate myself. I hate who I see in the mirror. I hate when I put on clothes that shrink in the dryer. I hate going clothes shopping because the person behind the counter will see me buying a 3X or a 4X shirt, right? That sucks. A lot of self-hatred. To go back a little bit on this topic, why keep going? When I first started the podcast, I made a post in a weight loss group and asked, What kind of topics would you want to hear about? And somebody said, why continue to lose the weight or try to lose the weight when you have failed over and over and over again? And I thought about that and I thought about that and I thought about that. And that's, that's pretty much what I came up with was the hatred for fat Luke. I might catch a lot of shit for this episode, but that's where I'm at. You know, I don't know. When I did the interview with Leslie Davis, she gave me the homework of finding my why. And she said, it can't be about somebody else and it can't be about my weight. And she asked me to send her a picture of when I was really happy. So I started working on that and it took me a while to write it down. It took me a while to figure it out. And what I came up with, I'm just going to get to the end of that, is I want to live the life that I want to live. 
And I, I think for me, I want to keep up with my kids. Like I said before, I want to fit on a roller coaster. I want to go somewhere and not have to worry if I'm going to fit in the booth when we're out eating or if this chair at this cookout is going to support me. I want to be able to jump out of an airplane, skydive. I don't know if I ever will, even if I get to the weight that I, I have to be at, but I want to have the option, right? The picture that I sent to her was, uh, one of when I used to ride my bike and I captured a really awesome sunrise and told her, you know, it's, it was a beautiful morning. I loved seeing the the beauty that was there before people woke up, before the day got started. But my why kept going back to living a life that I want. You know, I want to, I want to not shop in the big and tall. I know she said to not have a do with my weight or other people, but it's really hard to break that down. I know from experience of losing the weight that my anxiety is not there as much. My depression's not there as much. I have confidence. I can talk to people. I don't worry if somebody thinks I'm a slob. And that all stems from my weight. And not having those issues is a life that I want to live. Going back to my kids. You know, doing everyday things with them is a task. Cleaning the house is a task. Putting my socks on is a task. I want to live my life. I don't want to struggle to tie my shoe. I don't want to have to take a shower after every time I use the bathroom for fear that I can't clean myself properly. And when I've lost the weight, those issues aren't there. I have other issues, you know, don't get me wrong, but the issues that eat me inside that I have now, I don't have when I am more healthy (laughs) when I have less fat, but I, I want to talk a little bit about the self-hatred. I looked up a couple articles on self-hatred and, um, yeah, I guess I'll just, I'll read them out. Right. So self-hatred is described as continual, continual feelings of inadequacy, guilt, low self-esteem. People may constantly compare themselves to other perceive only the negative and ignore the positive. And believe what they, that they will never be good enough, but every single person has worth and value and the ability to cultivate self-love. And in this article, there is a section for how to develop self-worth. And it says self-esteem is the antidote to self-loathing. Learning how to silence one's inner critic can limit the negative thoughts that come to mind. Practicing self-compassion and learning how to forgive others and oneself for past mistakes. Now, that self-forgiveness, that's come up in a lot of my recent episodes. And I can't bring myself to do it. Well, this article also says, um, seeking support from loved ones, mental health professionals is also very important in this process. And I've said it multiple times, I want to normalize therapy and men's mental health. So I I always recommend therapy, right? So even if you don't feel like you need it, try it. it. It can help you. So on another article, it's talking about ways to stop self hate. The article is actually called seven ways to shut the door on self hatred. I'll link all these in the description. But the first one is pay attention to your triggers, right? So what triggers you to be in these, these moments of the, the 
I hate myself or I'm not good enough feeling, right? So what did you do? How you felt during different activities, who you were with throughout the day can all be a trigger, right? So challenge your negative thoughts as, as well. If you think I hate myself, then it can be helpful to immediately ask yourself why. If the answer is I look ugly in this dress or I really messed up that meeting, then try challenging that thought as well. Say to yourself, that's not true. Then think of a reason this negative thought is wrong. So like, yeah, I might have not done good in that meeting, but here are some things that I did right. (laughs) Positive self-talk. Practice positive self-talk is number three on this list. And that's one thing that I do with the mirror. And I I tell myself three things that I, or two things that I love about myself. Um, self-hatred often comes in a moment when you don't have compassion for yourself. And that's another thing that keeps popping up is compassion. If you think, if you can't think of anything, don't panic. Love is a strong emotion. That's hard to feel towards yourself at, in a low point. If it's easier, try to think of things you simply like or don't hate about yourself, right? That's something I, I've done. Reframe your negative thoughts. Reframing is a therapy technique that can be used to address negative thoughts and self-hatred. It's usually done by simple shifting your thoughts to a slightly different perspective. Now, when my wife and I were doing the couples therapy, that's one thing that the therapist kept telling me, right? So if I have these bad thoughts or these negative thoughts, try to think about them and, and figure out why I'm thinking like that and explain to myself why that's not true. Right. So when I I think about how I'm embarrassed for my wife, think about why I feel that way. And then think about why that is not true. Number five on this list is spend time with people who make you happy. That's a pretty self-explanatory. Again, number six, practice self-compassion. Now, I'm going to read this whole thing here. It says, this may be the hardest item on the list, but it's perhaps the most helpful. Self-compassion is different from self-love. It means accepting your negative thoughts, mistakes, failures, and understanding them as a messy human moment. It means forgiving yourself in the same way you'd forgive a loved one for snapping at you in a moment of frustration. The next time you find yourself spiraling down in self-hatred, try to cut yourself some slack, acknowledging that you aren't feeling great and remind yourself it's okay. Dwelling on certain actions you've taken that you aren't proud of, remind yourself that everyone makes mistakes. Those actions don't have to define you. Of course, self-compassion doesn't happen overnight, but studies have shown that much Much like reframing or meditation, self-compassion is a trainable skill. And the last thing on this list is ask for help, right? So therapy, uh, you're never alone in your mental health journey. Everyone has been where you are at one point or another, and most need a little help to get through. So find a therapist. So that's what I got on the self-hatred. That's what I got on this whole episode, right? So why keep going? I want to live plain and simple. I want to live my life the way that I want to, right? So some might think, well, you're overweight and you binge eat and you're overeating. Well, that's not how I want to live. But I feel stuck right now. Um, I want to live a happy life. I want to be able to do things that I want to do, no matter what they are. If it, I want to have the option to do those things, right? So, again, my why, that's it. I want to live. That's all I've got. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed any of this, please leave me a rating and a review on Apple Podcast. And if you could share this podcast, share it with somebody you know could use it. Don't forget to check out my website, www.lukeloosespodcast.com. That's got all my social media links, as well as other platforms you can listen to this podcast. 
The music we're listening to right now is by Jake Simmons and the Little Ghosts. Check them out. I will post their links in the description of this episode. And that is that. As always, stay positive, do the work, trust the process, and I will see you next week.